What's up guys, it's English Dan, back with another video. So, you all know that I'm a part of Team Pixel. We all know that Google have got a Pixel event coming up next week. So let's talk about what we can expect to see at the Pixel event. Now let me just say, I have not got the Pixel yet. I hopefully will have it sometime soon. I will be able to give you my thoughts on that, but I haven't got it yet, so I can't deep dive into the actual device. But this is just things that I've read online that we, uh, we can expect to see being announced. So yeah, let's talk about it. All right guys, so yeah, next week we've got this Pixel event coming up and well, it's a Google event, so there's gonna be showing a few things on there. Obviously, we're gonna get the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro. So there has been a bit of a, a leak, a leak they say, and it seems like a, a spec sheet has been released. So obviously we're gonna get the new Tensor 2 chip in those things. We're gonna get the uh, LPTO Plus uh, Quad HD display, 120 Hertz again. The screen's not meant to be as curved this time around on the Pixel 7 Pro. On the Pixel 6, you're gonna get the 90 Hertz display and it's gonna be flat and it'll be Full HD Plus again. They're both gonna have the same camera from last year from what I'm seeing. It's gonna be the Samsung GN1, the 50 megapixel. Then there's gonna be a 48 megapixel on the Pixel 7 Pro, which is gonna be for the zoom. And then we're gonna have a 12 megapixel wide angle. Across the front, there's gonna be a 10.2. Same setup, I believe, on the Pixel 7, just missing the zoom lens. So, very similar to what it is last year. I think this year is more of a refinement than rewriting the reel because people liked the Pixel 6 last year. It was just marred with buggy software in Android 12. It kind of ruined the experience for a lot of people. So yeah, another thing that they're saying about the Pixel 7 and the Pixel 7 Pro, according to the spec sheet, you're gonna get face unlock and in-screen fingerprint sensor, which is great. I, I don't know why they just didn't throw that on there on the Pixel 6, whether they couldn't due to limitations of something, I do not know, but this time supposedly it's gonna come with both, which is awesome because if that fingerprint sensor is slow again like it was on the Pixel 6, it's gonna drive people crazy. At least with face unlock, people can just go ahead and Bang, done. 12 gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage, and 256 gig storage options on the Pixel 7 Pro. Eight gig with 128 and 256 again on the Pixel 6. So no 512s or one terabyte options. Kind of, you know, a little bit disappointing, but then again, I suppose average Joe and the average consumer doesn't really use more than 128 gigabytes. I know that if I didn't record everything on this phone that I'm using right now, I could get away with a 128 gigabyte device. I could probably still get away with a 64 gigabyte because everything I do is in the cloud. So, you know, I can kind of understand them going that way. Pricing, the same is going to be around 899 according to rumors for the 7 Pro and 599 for the 7. I think the Pixel 6 last year was the, the value proposition and at 599, I think the 7 could be again this year, but the Pro is a nice device. Pixel 6 Pro was really nice, but I had problems with that at first where I couldn't make calls, so I had to just, I couldn't wait for the fix. I had to go with the Pixel 6, and I've had the Pixel 6 now, and I've still got it, and I'm gonna have a final review coming up on that for you in the next couple of days. Gonna be three different color variations uh, on the Pixel 7 Pro. The hazel looks beautiful, it's like a gray with a gold, and then you got obviously your black and your white. And then on the Pixel 7, you're gonna have the black, white, and then there's a, like a green color. So yeah, not bad. Also, we're gonna have the Pixel Watch. Price is suggesting that this thing's gonna come in at around $350 for the Wi-Fi version. Sounds a little expensive, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, there has been leaks showing various different bands and things like that for the actual device and a Fitbit premium option. I don't know exactly what they are. I'm just gonna throw some things up on screen so you can see them, but I'm looking forward to the Pixel Watch. I think the Pixel Watch could be a really good option, especially seeing as Google bought Fitbit and they're gonna be involved in with this. So I have high hopes for the Pixel Watch. You're also gonna get the Google Wi-Fi Nest Pro. So that's my AC starting, sorry about that. It's hot, it's too nice to sit inside. But yeah, we're also gonna get the Nest Pro Wi-Fi, which I am actually quite intrigued by. I had the Nest Wi-Fi and I had terrible issues with that where it limited my upload to like five meg. It was just weird. Don't know why, nobody knew why, so we ended up returning it and grabbing um, the Aero 6. But I would quite happily go back to the Nest Pro if 
it did give me my uh, full speed like the Aero does, I would consider going back into that. I believe there's going to be a new Nest doorbell as well. They're talking about a wired doorbell that's going to be coming out, that's going to be available. And I fully expect uh, some more updates on this Pixel tablet. I'm still not sold on that being the final form factor that they uh, shown us when they first announced it uh, a few months ago at the Pixel 7 announcement event. I, I just can't get my head around that being how, what it's going to look like because it's so dated. There's no way Google's going to release something like that, surely. So especially with the Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro and the 6 and the 6 Pro being given these new updated designs that look a lot better than the older Pixels ever did. So I'd hang tight on that. I've got a feeling that they may show something a little different. And there's also been rumor, and I don't know how much of a solid rumor this is, that uh, there's going to be a higher end version of the tablet as well. The one we've seen is supposedly going to be a low cost version, and there's supposedly going to be an ultra. We've all heard this thing about Pixel Ultras before, and I'm not going down that rabbit hole. You just never know. And also, they may possibly show something about a Google Pixel foldable. But then again, they may not. That's been going on for two or three years now. We've not really seen anything solid about it. It went away and then it came back. Are they ready to show anything of it? You never know. Google like to throw some surprises in there. But yeah, I think overall the, the Pixel event is going to be pretty good. Um, like I say, more of a refinement. The Tensor 2 is going to be pretty much similar with higher clock speed cores, I presume, from over last year. But it's also going to have a, a beefier GPU. So that should help with gaming and things like that but yeah until i get my hands on these things huh, can't really say an awful lot more but they're the things that i think we're going to see hopefully we do get to see something of the foldable it'd be nice if the google pixel foldable is really something that's happening and they can give us a teaser but hey let's not ask for too much